The sun shines more than 340 days a year in the San Luis Valley, so the solar industry is booming here. Nick Teal is plant manager of San Luis Solar Ranch. We're sitting on 220 acres with uh, roughly 110,000 panels, so we're 30, equivalent of 30 megawatt site. The company says that's enough to supply power to more than 7,500 homes. In the mornings, when the sun rises over those mountains, um, there's sensors that track the sun, so they'll move in coordinates with the sun. In the morning, obviously they'll, they'll face the east, and as the day goes, it'll follow it all the way to the west until it sets. In this valley, solar farms are expanding rapidly, making Colorado the third largest solar energy producing state in the U.S. after California and New Jersey. But the sun is not enough. Alamosa County, one of the largest in the region, has six solar farms. County Commissioner Darius Allen says 650 hectares have been allocated for solar power and more could be dedicated if the infrastructure were better. Right now, the transmission line we have in here is pretty much maxed out. But that's not the only problem. San Luis Valley is an agricultural area producing potatoes, grain, alfalfa and pasture for cattle. Farmers are concerned about land going to the solar industry. Steve Vandiver is general manager of the Rio Grande Water Conservation District. If agriculture goes away here, we have nothing left. Agriculture in this valley is under another threat. The land, rivers and aquifers under the valley are drying out. That also affects solar power. Some of the bigger plants, the, the solar thermal plants, take a significant amount of water and that water is consumed and you have to dry up a lot of farm ground in order to create a water supply that is large enough to support those types of plants. Solar panels also need to be washed because dust accumulates on them. The water shortage has forced authorities to draw up plans that will close hundreds of wells and retire agricultural land. Valley-wide, looking at somewhere between 60 and 80,000 acres would have to come out of production long term. Farmers are concerned. George Wheaton is his family's third generation on this organic ranch. Recently, he and his wife Julie, an environmental activist and educator, recruited neighbors in a bid to fight the construction of an 800 hectare solar farm adjacent to their land. They won their case and the project failed. I never thought I'd be fighting solar energy and so it was very bizarre. It's giant parabolic mirrors. They're huge. They're the size of a drive-in theater. And there are going to be 9,000 of those right along that power line. The Whitten say industrial sites, even solar ones, should not replace agriculture. They say instead of saving energy, Americans are trying to figure out how to use more. For VOA News, this is Sulina Palacio in San Luis Valley, Colorado.